we're going to explain how to add a humanoid root part in Roblox. This is important because the humanoid needs a root part to function correctly. It's the anchor point for all the character's movement and animations. If you're importing models or working with custom rigs, you might need to manually add one. Here's how. 1. Create a part. First, you'll need a part to act as the root. In Roblox Studio, go to the Home tab and select Part from the Models section. A new part will appear in your workspace. You can resize and reposition this part as needed. Make sure it's roughly centered where you want your character's body to be. 2. Name the part. It's crucial to name this part correctly. Change its name to Humanoid Root Part. The Humanoid script needs this exact name to recognize it. Double check your spelling because even a slight variation will cause problems. You can change the name in the Properties window in the Explorer tab. 3. Position the part. Adjust the part's position so it's at the base of your character's torso, or where you want the character's center of gravity to be. You might need to experiment a little to find the perfect spot depending on your character's model. 4. Create or select the humanoid. If you don't already have a humanoid, you'll need to create one. Right-click on the character model, or the part you want the humanoid to control, in the Explorer tab and select Insert Object, Humanoid. A humanoid object will be added to the model. If you already have a humanoid, make sure it's parented to the model containing the humanoid root part. The humanoid should automatically select the humanoid root part if it's named correctly and positioned appropriately. You might need to reposition your humanoid root part if the character doesn't seem to be moving or animating properly after adding the humanoid. 5. Test your work, test your changes. You should now be able to move your character. If it doesn't move or displays unexpected behaviors, go back and check. Is the humanoid root part named exactly humanoid root part? Is the humanoid parented to the character model? Is the humanoid root part positioned correctly? Double check the spelling of humanoid root part and its position. These two points are extremely common causes of issues. If the humanoid isn't using the part, you might see an error message in the output window, giving you clues about what went wrong. 6. Adjust the can collide property. Consider the can collide property of the humanoid root part. Setting it to false can prevent clipping issues, but it also might affect certain animations or interactions. Experiment to see which setting works best for your character and desired functionality. Remember, the name humanoid root part is case sensitive. Make absolutely sure it's spelled correctly. By following these steps, you can successfully add a humanoid root part to your Roblox character and ensure its proper functioning.